morning, Sheboygan, and welcome to the 2023 Memorial Day Parade. My name is Mike Martin, and joining me in the broadcast is John Putnam, and our cameraman this morning is Greg Zablocki. Uh, John, you've been involved in setting this whole parade up. Talk a little bit about launch and what that is to Lakeland College. For sure. It's a pleasure and honor to be a part of the Sheboygan Memorial Day Parade. Uh, launch is Lakeland student-run businesses. Uh, what it is is the program at Lakeland University uh, established in May 2020, and it was really designed to give students an opportunity uh, to really practice what they're learning in the classroom uh, right now. Uh, oftentimes, you got to wait till after college to put it to use a lot of your learning and your skills. And we decided why not figure out a way to provide uh, these opportunities to current students. So we have students who get to do marketing opportunities, business leadership, accounting, finance, and it's very cool. Uh, so we currently have four businesses. One of our businesses is our event planning business, and we've been partnering with Kohler Credit Union in the city of Sheboygan uh, to provide this fine parade these last couple years. All right, uh, Memorial Day, of course, celebration of uh, giving credit to all the people that gave their lives for the freedom of that we have here in this country, yes, and uh, that's what this is all about. And uh, John and I look forward to uh, presenting the parade to you. We're going to step out and get to our table, and the uh, parade is right coming up. Yes, sir. The first unit in the parade is uh, the police department. Christopher Domogolski is the uh, chief of police in Sheboygan. And uh, right behind the uh, police car is uh, the color guard. Memorial Day is an American holiday. It's observed on the last Monday in May, honoring the men and women who died while serving in the U.S. military. Originally, Memorial Day was known as Decoration Day, and it originated in the years following the Civil War. Approaching is Mayor Ryan Sorson, representing the city of Sheboygan. Again, we're very thankful for the partnership of the city of Sheboygan in providing this parade in memorializing those who have gone before us to ensure the freedoms that we observe today. See Ryan sometimes at uh, Paradigm, you know what I always tell him? Tell the city we want that, we want that budget back for sports <laughs> broadcasting. <laughs> he hasn't been successful yet. Following the, the mayor is uh, Shoreline Metro Trolley uh, provides a great service, uh, especially during the summertime, of course. Real nice ride there. Harbor Center Express, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. It's hard to beat the nostalgia of the trolley, isn't it? Yeah, I can't beat it. You're right. Dusty Fickett, one of the members of the Sheboygan Police Department Color Guard, I had Dusty as a student way back in the really? day over at Orseman, yeah. Wow. He's an excellent pickleball player, by the way. Yeah. That's definitely made a resurgence in recent times. <laughs> Approaching the town of Sheboygan Fire Department. That silver hammer looks pretty sharp. Yes, it does. And we got that uh, old style fire truck and then the more modern one right behind it. 
Imagine taking that into a fire. Yeah, <laughs> really. I don't think they take the older one to the fire, to the fire very often. That probably sits in the garage till uh, next Memorial Day. Maybe Fourth of July. <laughs> Next up, we have the UW Green Bay Veterans Service Team and United States Marine Corps. Oop. Uh, pardon me, that was uh, Jamie Schramm's got the UWGB Veterans Service Team and the various veterans and military dogs. Yes, sir. Jamie has been a fundamental, uh, great part in the Sheboygan Memorial Day parades. I believe since 2015 when Cold right. Credit Unions um, started being a part of the parade. Jamie's been a, a fantastic part in planning as well as very, uh, very important for our ceremony uh, that follows the Sheboygan Memorial Day Parade. Yep. Right now we have the United States Marine Corps representing. You know, of all the service organizations, uh, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, so on and so forth, I think the Marine Corps has the sharpest looking uniforms. They do. They do. And I'm sure that they would tell you that, and they'd probably say they're the best if you ask them. We have American Legion. There's the Shram family in the black Jamie's uh, son Mustang. Jamie's son is a service member in the Marine Corps. Okay, cool. Siegfried Eckert, U.S. Navy veteran. That's a former Navy man myself. Got to give credit where credit's due. An estimated number of military personnel participating in the parade is 16 veterans and honor guards, roughly 20 active duty reservists in the parade delegation, and uh, five active duty and veterans in uh, the ceremony, which will take place after the parade, uh, just two blocks away from our location over at uh, Fountain Park. Walking right now is American Legion Post number 83. We're very excited to have a huge number of our military groups representing. I know I was talking to one of our parade participants, um, and they're expecting to have several uh, veterans show up as well. So we're, we're very excited to have the veteran support for this parade. Just going by us was uh, the Prescott Baines 83 Legion Post, and uh, they're uh, familiar to me because they helped sponsor the Legion baseball program here in Sheboygan for years. American Corps League, next in our parade. Marine Corps League, 1446. And of course, the, they're de depicting the posting of the flag on Iwo Jima during World War II. You know who I think came sooner that we missed? Was uh, the Sheboygan County, County Fairs Fair. to the Fair. Fair yes. Apparently, they're not quite in order, John. I don't think we're gonna so. Have to be I think the order has <laughs> fallen apart. I think we're going to have to be in our A game. Now, I believe this is PSCO Kiefer. Kiefer. the Vietnam veteran group following after that. It's nice that uh, originally when they uh, started Decoration Day or Memorial Day, it was uh, just to, to uh, honor the uh, people that gave their lives during the Civil War. 
But as time went on, they included all the, the veterans from all the wars that uh, the United States has uh, been involved with. You know, it's definitely very important if you don't remember your the past, you're doomed to repeat it in the future. And having this day of remembrance, I know as a citizen, means a lot in giving thanks to those who have sacrificed all just to ensure that we're able to be here today. I mean, it's, it's very, very important to recognize that. Lee Greenwood coming up with this version of... Uh Approaching now is a group that I'm very partial to. <laughs> Best church in the county, if I had to say. Uh, Pentecostals of Cheboygan County with Pastor John D. Putnam, who's actually... Uh, is he a relative? Due, yeah, just slightly, <laughs> just slightly. He is. Uh, he will be doing the ceremony at the site today. Um, we're very excited to be a part of the parade. I know our church has been a part of the parade for years. So you said John Putnam was slightly your, your relative? Slightly what, my what, relative. What, what would that be relationship? That would be my father. Okay. So we're very, very excited to be a part <laughs> Giving you a big cheer, John. All hey. right. Don't be embarrassed. I'll, I'll That's take, cool, I'll man. I'll take all the help I can get. <laughs> and here comes Nancy. There's Nancy. <laughs> and next up is uh, the South High, South High Marching Band. Hey, hey, not so fast, man. There you go. Take one. <laughs> yeah, just one. And I'll take one. How you go? There you go. Led Thank you very by much. Wade Heinen. Our Sheboygan area school bands have been a very involved part of the parade also these last couple of years. Hey, Wade. South High was uh, participating in the uh, Sheboygan A's 5K run last weekend, and uh, they had their drum line there and uh, provided a little inspiration for the runners. Were they running in the 5K? No, they weren't running. They were playing. Imagine, I can only imagine as a percussionist myself carrying a bass drum that far, that'd be too much. Wade Heinen uh, does a really great job with the band. I know when we were doing basketball games at South, a lot of times instead of having the camera face the court when we did our openings on the floor, we'd walk around and stand on the court so the camera could face the and show the uh, band in the background. And uh, they were really, really, really good. And uh, we got another high school band coming up too. Yes, we do. Right now is the Black American Community Outreach Group. And following them is the American Heritage Girls and Trail Life Troop. Now they're coming in quick order. Yes, they are. It's easier now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since they're in the right order. Uh, next up is the Town of Wilson Fire Department. See them marching by and some of their equipment. It's awesome to see all parts of our Sheboygan County community being represented today in this parade. In terms of what, uh, where the Memorial Day celebrations all started, you know, there's some uh, talk that it happened in the south. There's some talk that it happened in the north. But when they finally made their decisions, John, they decided, in, and this was back in the 1800s, but it was yes. in 1966, the federal government declared that Waterloo, New York, was the official birthplace of the Memorial Day Parade. Of course. Walking right now is our Sheboygan County Sheriff Department with Sheriff Corey Raisler. Recently elected. Yes, and the uh, Sheboygan County Public Safety Cadets are walking with the sheriff. And it seems that Sergeant Ryan Kelly is having some fun with the siren as well. <laughs> At our expense. <laughs> Of course. Greg Zablocki, our cameraman, doing a great job picking up all the action. Now it looks like approaching is the Sheboygan YMCA gymnastics team, gymnastics and dance team. 
That would not be in order. I believe we're now caught up to the gap that happened. We had the Marine Corps. They all went blue. Back in uh, 1868, General John A. Logan, a leader of an organization of Northern Civil War veterans, called for a nationwide day of remembrance. Later that month, it was happened. Started in May 5th, and uh, of course, it was on the 30th of May, and uh, it's been continuing our Memorial Day celebration the last Monday in May, and they tied it in to a Monday, John, so that uh, federal employees would have a long three-day weekend. You got to appreciate that three-day weekend. Exactly. Those girls are in training. Uh, Sheboygan North and South combined for a gymnastics team. Competes in the WIAA. According to my list, John, it should be uh, the Marine Corps League, 1446, or did they go by us already? They already went by us. Like, I think this is the rest of the YMCA dance group. That, I think you got it. I think you're right there. They're speeding up. <laughs> Denise Nugent runs this program down at the Y. She's been down there for a long, long time. Oh, there we go. We are going to see a demonstration. You're next, John. Yeah, I was about to say you. Um, you know, I'll do it if you a do it. Age has its privileges, John. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll let the professionals do it. We'll just stick to announcing. <laughs> now approaching is family service or family connections uh they're doing the long throws nobody's gonna go over to the curb and there we go there's a handoff next we have coming up down the line is the uh, north high school band Feel the the music shaking in your soul. <laughs> it uh, when we would do these basketball games, I'll tell you, just the, when they have the pep band and that in the gym and playing, it really adds to the uh, environment of the of the field house. Oh, there's nothing and, uh, like a good old pep band. And having a band and a parade is really great too. That's one of the things uh, with the Fourth of July parade. We don't get the high school bands, uh, and uh, you might have one band or so. And uh, this is really nice. Royal Gingery at the lead.
looks like we have Meals on Wheels, Sheboygan County. Meals on Wheels provides a very important service to the community and uh, credit goes out to those people who volunteer their time to uh, fill that need. Now approaching is the city of Sheboygan's fire department. The significance of the post parade ceremony, which will happen after our parade, is to uh, help celebrate uh, the uh, sacrifices by the military personnel. Our parade annually is attended by about 15 to 20,000 people, and the ceremony is about uh, six, 500 to 650 mostly military families and Gold Star families over at uh, Fountain Park. Yeah, we have great, great participant by our, our local veteran groups. And you mentioned your dad is going to be... Uh, yes, he will be doing the, uh, the uh, pra opening prayer and closing prayer as a part of the ceremony today. Now, this is the group I was talking about earlier, the Lao Mon and American Veterans Memorial. They were expecting to have a couple hundred uh, veterans show up today, and um, I didn't know if I believed them, and now I certainly do. Uh, they have had several participants, and I believe they're also doing a memorial, their own memorial service at 1130 today um, at the Sheboygan uh, Memorial uh, Office. Peace Park? 23, I believe so. Okay. All right. Yeah, they do have quite a contingent. That's uh, really cool. We've got this announcement for the uh, post parade Memorial Day celebration ceremony. Uh, 2023 Sheboygan Memorial Day Parade and Fountain Park ceremony is a collaboration between the city of Sheboygan, the United States military active duty personnel, and veterans. Sheboygan County Veterans Service Office, Kohler Credit Union, and Launch, Lakeland University run businesses is uh, responsible for that parade. We wish to thank uh, all those who have participated and support our effort in leading this worthwhile community event. And uh, the opening uh, musical selection is by the Sheboygan County Pops concert, directed by Greg Keel and uh, the program will follow. Right now approaching is the Rogers Behavioral Health Group. And coming up behind them is an assortment of uh, Boy Scouts of America troops. That uh, gentleman playing the horn was right by us before we got started today and he was looking where to go and uh, he actually found where he was supposed to be good job by that young man a nice playing of the horn were you a boy scout no i was not I probably should have been. Might have helped me in my early years. <laughs> I was. Uh, I think I was in the Cub Scouts, but I was not uh, a real big fan of camping out and doing all that kind of thing. But I did have a high school friend who uh, went on to become an Eagle Scout. Wow. And uh, it was it's a really good effort, and it's a good, great program, you know, great, great for kids. And uh, wish uh, more children would uh, get involved in things like that. For sure. Right now is the Homes for Independent Living, a MyPath company. That's different than the uh, the Habitat for Humanity. I believe so. Home. It's a different organization. Okay. Oh boy, I can I can hear some of the cars coming. Yeah, <laughs> help close out the parade. 
Would that be the Sheboygan Area Mustang Owners Club? I believe so. <laughs> Sounds and they're like not it. due for a couple more, but they're already making the sound. <laughs> oh, here they are. Well, that first Mustang, the green one, is uh, pretty nice. That's very nice. Again, this is the Sheboygan Area Mustang Owners Club. It's great to have a show of American muscle vehicles. That green one definitely steals the show. I'm in awe. It's a really awesome. Never owned a Mustang. They are definitely sharp looking cars. An American icon for sure. Very nice contingent from that uh, group. Now to close out the parade, we are honored to have our uh, local United States Coast Guard auxiliary group with a little boat, but they also got the big, the real deal. The little boat would be for uh, putting in your backyard that swimming may, pool maybe for toddler, little maybe kids. toddlers, right? Yeah, right. Give them the, the honorary experience. And then we have the big boat. The real deal. And the traditional ending of the parade is the uh, Sheboygan police car at the, at the rear. John, it was great working with you this morning. It was a pleasure to be here. Again, we're, we're very excited here at launch to be able to provide this experience. Uh, this parade was organized and managed and facilitated this morning all by Lakeland students. Uh, we're very excited to have been a part this last three years. And uh, we're very excited to continue this partnership with the city of Sheboygan, as well as Kohler Credit Union uh, for all the future Memorial Day parades. Um, as they come. Right, great job by uh, your group, John, and uh, I think people need to recognize the importance of Lakeland College to Sheboygan and Sheboygan County because uh, they provide a great service. For sure, Lakeland, Lakeland University has become such a great uh, part of the community. You know, we, real, we recognize that Sheboygan County, you know, one of our huge values is, is just community. And being able to now be a part of Lakeland in a new way uh, through Jake's uh, Lakeland community, uh, being having a location on site here in Sheboygan, as well as expanding our efforts into the community. Uh, we're, we've been very blessed to have uh, been in Sheboygan County, continue to be a part, and be even more a part in the future. All right, thanks, John, and thanks to Greg, our cameraman, for uh, providing his time this morning, and uh, thank you to Sheboygan. Remember to give uh, credit to all the uh, service members who uh, gave their all for our country. And with that, thanks for watching everybody and we'll see you down the road.